Hi, my name is Julie and I am the teen librarian at the Central Branch Library. And I'm sure you've all heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. That, that all of that plastic that's just sitting there in our oceans and it doesn't really deteriorate. And we have efforts to kind of clean it up, but we're still using plastic, so we're still adding to it. So if we can't find a better alternative to the plastic that we're using or stop using plastic altogether, we won't be able to keep up. So today we're gonna to explore a more environmentally friendly plastic than some of the traditional plastic that we have that's made from fossil fuels. So today we're gonna to do one that's plant-based and made from cornstarch. So if you pick up your kit, what you'll have is a set of instructions, a piece of heavy duty foil, a piece of parchment, a small plastic bag, and a microwavable bowl, a container with some cornstarch, corn and two pipettes, one with food coloring and another with regular cooking oil. So your first step is to grab parchment and protect the surface area you're working on because you don't want to spill this. Second, grab that plastic bag and your little container of cornstarch. So you'll notice it has a mark on the side that's roughly the amount of cornstarch that we have in there. What we're going to do is mix the same amount of water. So open up the cornstarch and then dump it all in the plastic bag. And then go ahead and fill it up to that line with water. So basically you're using the same amount of cornstarch and water. So if we went a little above, a little bit below, it's, it's okay. It should be just roughly the same amount. Okay. Here's where the bowl comes in handy so you don't spill it all over the place. Set it in your bowl so it can be open on the top. All right, so you have two pipettes. Grab the one with the oil. We're gonna have a dot of hot glue on the end and you want to pop that off. If you have to, you can snip it with a pair of scissors. You just need a few drops. So I'm going to go down. I did about three. Set that to the side. And this is your food coloring. We have red today. Again, pop off that little bit of hot glue. Be careful, it will get on your hands like that, and then your hands will be red for the day. You don't need a whole lot, and that's why I said protect your surface area. You can just stick that down there. So you wanna zip up the bag. And then you wanna mix. So you got it all mixed. Go ahead, set it in your bowl. Open up the bag. All right, so it's set. And then you're gonna come to your microwave. Stick it inside. Now remember that bag is open. You do not wanna close this bag. It will explode and mess up your microwave. Do not do that. Go ahead, close your microwave. So you probably don't need it to go longer than about 20 seconds tops. Just go ahead and keep an eye on it. I'm gonna set this for 30, that way it doesn't go too long. All right, so when you take it out, be careful, it is hot. Steam will escape. Let it cool before you touch it. But if you see, I'm pulling on the bag a little bit, you can see it's kind of moldable and kind of starting to kind of solidify. All right, so it's been about eight minutes. And so now it's still warm, but I can take it out and touch it, not burn myself. And it came up in two pieces. So here you can use the foil if you want. Like if, as it, so you see, it's really pliable. As it dries, it's going to be hardening. So if you want, you can take the foil and like crumple it up in a ball. I'll take a piece. and you can lay this on top of it. 
I say that, it's okay. And it'll get a curve and kind of mold to the shape that you've made. This is a small piece, so it probably won't. This one would probably work better. You can use a cookie cutter or just a knife, regular old butter knife, and you can break this apart and make little shapes and let it dry. So keep an eye on it, maybe check it once an hour or so and see how hard it gets as it, as it dries.